so uh, just to finish out, is there anything for your fans that you want to give them a heads up on or anything we should be in the lookout? Well, um, I'm not sure where this is going to be or when it's going to be and how quickly it'll be out of date. But um, more Beast of Burden will be coming out. Um, I'm working on a little endless storybook for uh, DC Comics Vertigo. That should be out next summer. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm hoping that we're, I'm working with a company to get Scary Godmother repackaged and all that material back in print and make more Scary Godmother. Um, and, uh, oh wait, what was the other thing that I'm thinking? I just finished uh, some work for Marvel. I did an Inhuman story for their unfortunately named Girl Comics Anthology. <laughs> Um, but it's some of the best painting I've ever done in my entire life, and I'm really, really, really proud of it. And I'm, you know, really excited. Hopefully, I'll do, be able to do more work for Marvel because, I, you know, the nine-year-old fangirl in me wants to draw the characters that I grew up reading while I was eating lunch with my brother. You know, um, so, and I think they like what I've done, so they're probably, you know, I, I'll keep, keep bugging them for work. And there's a bunch of projects for DC that I want to do. You know, it's like I just try and get as much stuff lined up as possible and keep going. And I like to write a lot of my own stuff. I mean, Magic Trixie came out from HarperCollins. So there's three books that came out through them that I really want people to pick up. And, you know, any anything that's ever been collected. But I like to make up my own stuff and I like to collaborate with other people as well and I like to work on company owned characters you know not as my only source of, of, of storytelling um, but because I'm lucky enough to be able to, to do it I mean I, there are certain things that I just probably you know, I don't know if I would want to do because I wouldn't be interested in them but so far everything has worked out I've, I've been able to work on stuff that I really, really like. You know, I haven't had too many jobs that have been painfully difficult to finish just because they become a lot of work. Um, I don't know. That's Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's wonderful, and you do have this just... The, this wide range of work that that people can check out, and that's that's a great thing for any artist. Well, what I love is comics. Um, you know, I love this medium to tell a story, and it doesn't matter to me whether I'm, whether I'm telling a story that is about superheroes or about you know some people going on a picnic, or you know it's like I like this as a storytelling genre. This is my favorite form of storytelling. And I want to advocate it to everyone else, I mean, to the world at large. I think, you know, there should be comics for every age group. And not that they're ghettoized by saying, you know, like making like weird little toy tie-in comics that are insulting to kids' intelligence. It's like good stories told in this style of storytelling. And with Scary Godmother and Magic Trixie, I just kind of found after working on so many, you know, adult-themed comics, is that there wasn't anything I could pass down and give to my nieces and my godsons and all sorts of other kids. And it, like, how are they going to learn how to read comics or like comics if, you know, you can't expect somebody to jump in at 14. I mean, it does happen, sure. but you know, there's a lot more competition for their uh, their dollar and their attention, uh, video games and computers and the internet and the phone and the thing. And But if you like instill a love of reading in them early or just, you know, and have material that shows them how to just tell a story comic uh, in, in a comic format, they'll move on to the next type of comic and next genre and graphic novels and, and everything else. And I want everyone to know how great and limitless uh, this this is. You know, people, like I say, people ask me why I like comics, and I ask them, "Did you used to like comics when you were younger? Have you ever read comics at all?" And they're like, "Oh yeah, when I was younger, I liked I liked them." And you know, and I said, "Okay, um, do you read them now?" I'm like, "No, not really. No, I don't." And I was like, "Why'd you stop?" You can't ask me because I never stopped. And they're like, well, I kind of got interested in, you know, like activities in school and, and boys and stuff. And it's like, hey, I like.
liked all those things too. <laughs> but I also liked comics. I always still liked comics. I never fell away from it. I just like found more types of comics to enjoy. Um, so I just want to be part of the more types of comics to enjoy. Well, and I think it's safe to say you absolutely are. <laughs> Thank you. Well, thank you again for spending the time with us today, uh, and uh, thanks for watching.